Hey, welcome back to Darkness Within 2. Um, did a little run through because I missed the attic. Um, there was a bunch of bones and a book called Cannibalistic Rituals. So we got that going for us. And there was also a kitchen which had a bunch of... Uh, Um, rotted meat or something. Yeah, we know what a werewolf is, Howard. It's 2012. Come on, man. Alright, back to exploring the town. Don't run in the snow, Howard. You'll hurt yourself. Feast. Go to Worms Feast immediately and ask for the book. All right. Aww. Oh, there's a Satan guy up there. I don't know if I like the thought of. Uh, to a pub called Worms Feast. I don't think I want to go that way yet. It's the middle of the night. We need to find a place to rest. Can't go that way. Can't go there. Mm, I don't want to take a train again. I already did that. Now that's the worm's feast. There's got to be an inn around here somewhere. Maybe that was over here where I didn't go. Oh. Nope. That's the exit. I don't need to go this way. Well... supposed to be an inn, and I'm just not seeing it. Is this it? This unmarked door? Yes. This is the inn. This is a real old school inn, I must say. Doesn't appear to be much in it. But it's decidedly old school. Boing! 
Let's see. Go behind the bar. Yep. I'm guessing that probably would be frowned on. Ah, he's a ghost. Excuse me. How can I help you? I'm looking for a place called Worm's Feast. Oh, the old bookshop. It's in the alley right in front of the inn. But it should be closed by now. The shopkeeper is ill, so he goes home early. How unfortunate. Then I guess I'd like a room, please. Of course. How many days do you plan to stay? I have no intention of staying more than a few days here. It Two is days. friendly. All right. That'll be 50 bucks. And cheap. Here you are. I don't think I have any other options anyway. Thank you, sir. Your room is on the second floor, the first room on the right. He is awfully friendly, and his rooms are awfully cheap. On the second floor. Nothing much there. I think he said first room on the right. I'm always bad at remembering these. But. Yeah. Not my room. Is my room. There's a lot of dust motes in this room. This hasn't been cleaned in a while. You probably should have for 50 bucks. 50, 25 bucks a night. I mean, good lord. You. Incense burner. Nothing in there. Right. What? What is that? Yeah, whatever it is, I can't take it. Is it just like shelf paper or a? Oh, maybe that's closing. I now have a collection of flashlights. And we have a lighter, or burned matches and bug spray. You know, yeah, there's no way you folks are going to be able to read this. Uh, last night, a collapse was reported in an archaeological dig site where Professor Graham and his crew were working. Authorities believe this area was, this was a deliberate attack, and a police squad has been dispatched to guard the area. That might have been that sealed off area. No, that wouldn't have been an archaeological dig site. A uh, report was made by archaeologist Carl Hartman, who claimed that, he, that while he and his crew were working in the late hours, he thought he saw a shadow. He heard sounds make him think a wild animal was coming around. However, a few minutes later, the ceiling of the large gallery near the entrance collapsed with a deafening rumble, trapping his crew inside. Strangely, he admitted that he didn't hear an explosion. Police are still investigating. How the soundstone ceiling collapsed in an instant, despite the strong support pillars placed by the archaeologists. I'd be curious, too. 
Inspector Norman found signs of damage on the supports that suggest tampering, but no further explanation has been offered. Now the police and local citizens from the nearby town of Arkmend uh, 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 are trying to clear the entrance to get to the trap to get the trapped archaeologists out. According to Professor Graham, the excavation was going very well until the collapse. Ain't that an understatement? Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how was the opera? And his team had been able to gather a wealth of important information that could open a new page in the history of mankind. It's unfortunate that this event hadn't. If this unfortunate event hadn't occurred, they hoped to learn more about the underground city. Now those goals have become secondary, and the only concern is getting the trapped archaeologists out alive. Well, I should hope so. Also, this is this is not a newspaper font. This just doesn't look right. Anyway, Professor, Prof, Professor Graham also said, I don't want to announce this completely without a thorough examination of the site, but I can reveal that we found a number of rooms filled with beautiful coffins made of obsidian. Oh, how about that? With mummified human and reptilian corpses intact. Within the depths of the various city, while some of the reptilians are quite human-like, others look exactly like the species we know today. Also, I covered rooms with splendid statues and murals that depict humans and human-like biped reptilians together in misty marshes, dark caverns, and within the walls of an ancient civilization that we suspect is the very underground city we're examining. So, it means the city was once above ground. Well, yeah. Also, according to the murals, the city used steam power to operate various machines like gigantic doors made of basalt and strange metallic devices we have yet to comprehend. We still don't even know the approximate size of the city, but it should be several thousand square kilometers at least. Nothing particularly interesting. Obsidian coffins? Human-like reptilians? Yeah, nothing interesting. You are the worst investigator, Howard. Well, what about uh, Professor Steamhead here? Aha! No, oh, that's unbelievable. Human reptile hybrids. Meh. You have strange priorities, Howard. Strange priorities. Sweet. Oh, no, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Welcome to Sleeping Simulator. voice <gasps> oh we're doing this oh remember these dreams from the first game that was a thing Is that a night gaunt? I hope so. I like night gaunts. I'm going to take a screenshot. Also, tell Violin McGee to take it easy. Yeah, kind of a restless face. But I also, I first saw a bird. Like, there's the beak and the head. And there's the body, and there's one wing, there's another wing. Am I nuts, or does that kind of look like a bird? 
So uh, that was just the first thing I saw. <clears throat> oh yeah, Howard Smash. Was I trying to film me having sex? Anybody there? Take your time. Just in a dimension of horrors. Do what your push-ups. I am staying in this room. I didn't notice this hole before. Who are you? I'm a prisoner. Just like you. Prisoner? Exactly. You cannot, must not leave here. The doors were locked from outside. But really, that isn't a problem. Since there is nothing but darkness out there. Who locked the doors? You want to stuff us? They locked them. They locked the doors a long time ago. But that is fine with me. I don't want to go out into that thick, blinding darkness. There is nothing but insanity out there. I, I can feel it watching us if you are sane you will stay where you are uh huh well who is, who watching? is watching us um who is watching us I don't understand. Okay. Why would someone want to lock the doors? If you don't believe me, try to open the door. I don't understand what's happening here. I have to get out. If you really have to leave, use this. But don't forget, there is nothing out there but endless insanity. Hmm, that's a silver key. Wonder if we'll go through gates with it. Yep, he's done. I'm done. Stand up. Hmm. Oh, this bathroom is disgusting. What is this feeling? Not that he can't stop this feeling. Sorry. <laughs> what are you talking about? You were hearing that after the last game. Oh, um. No, there shouldn't. There shouldn't be... That's not where the staircase was. And if you want to get really technical, there was a door across the hall from you. Hmm. Uh. Oh, we do have batteries. Looks like the lantern's infinite, though. These are all like, okay, so that's our goal. 
Locked. Locked. Oh, sorry. Stuck. Wow. Uh, okay, single use keys. Got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, someone is sitting there. I am hither, tying to thee, Howard. Cometh ye to the tomb. I don't think that's how old English or German work, but... Hmm. Neat. Can't pull up the menu, but I can. Can make my own dubstep. And, yes, I really am walking this slowly. Oh, hey! Obligatory, what's wrong with your face? Oh! Mm. So bright. I think I'm back in my, uh, I think I'm back in my old room. Nope, back in the old room. And we never did look in the bathroom. I am guessing the mirror is smashed so they don't have to try and deal with reflections because reflections are just awful and hard. Although the shadow work is a little wonky. And this toilet... I think this is supposed to be kind of a corroded texture, but it looks like gold leaf. Yeah, he was in that room, but he was talking to someone. Their conversation was muffled, but I'm sure he was speaking with an old man. We should try to get rid of him later. I've checked him out a bit, and I don't think he knows anything. Tonight, I'll get what they wanted from that too. After that, he can do nothing anyway. Dun dun dun! Howard likes his sleep. <clears throat> 
So, I think that's enough for one day. Howard's had enough for one day, and I think we have too. So, until next time, have a good one.